Well, here we are. Yeah, well, one of you guys had really spammed me to play this game and now you're getting it. You happy now? Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. So you're the trope with the little annoying little sister, aren't you? Yeah. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. This is Alpha 69 at the cockpit. Sundari is inside. Clear to engage. Requesting orders. Negative Alpha 69, do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. We need the subject alive. Says so standby for orders. Oh no! Cringy! Yuri, who appears uh, comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Uh, can. Okay, I can't guess your trope. Whatever. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to both meet both of you. Monica! Yeah, of course I've heard of her. Everyone talks about her on the internet. Turn the cupcake around and my finger looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't uh, help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction as she waiting for me to take a bite. Finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Uh, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Yeah, probably in a manga or something. Okay, I have an idea everyone. Natsuki and uh, uh, you, you look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will uh, help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Kenzukun? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth. But what's been on my mind the entire time? I never said I would join this club. Some of you may, even, may have convinced me to stop by, but never have made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four go girls stare back at me at with de dejected eyes. Psych number one psychological game, my ass. This game is just straight up harem. Note, everyone remember tonight's assignment. Right, for a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Uh, so this is what this game is about. I hate poems, alright? I don't like I don't like reading poems. They're they're boring, really, honestly. Monica looks over at me once more. I'd I'd rather read a storybook than reading a poem, I guess. It's time to pick what you think your favorite cup. What? Well, hold up a minute. Oh my, oh my god. I actually have to write a poem. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come and so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. It indeed is, so you better make it worth my while. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sanya told me you didn't even want to join any club this year. And last year too. I don't, if, I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't want to see the uh, end of it. Shut up, Matt. Nobody asked for your opinion. Yuri blushes her face in her hands. I really like your face when it's all colored red. But I would have liked it even more if it were colored red by your own blood. Okay, I didn't mean it quite literally, Yuri. Jeez, holy sheesh. Uh, uh. Well, since you still haven't subscribed to my uh, channel and uh, Yuri is uh, far more cuter than you, I prefer walking with the Yuri, eh, honestly. Monica appears across the room at Sonya, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up, uh, up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the only one asking you, Kenzuku. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's such a problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, oh, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. I also care about the well-being of her club members, you know? 
Maybe I'll try talking to her. So, yeah, are you sure about that? She seems like she wants to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing that up. The person of interest. Person of interest. What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Kachuku. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sanya talks about you more than anything else, you know. She's been so much happier ever since you've been joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way, Sanya. It's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Kenzuku. Ever thought that maybe you've always seen her so, so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you just forget about what I said. No! I might have thrown Sayori into a depression hole. Ah, shit, not you too. Well, I mean, I did tell you, tell you to subscribe and do a listen, so I had to hang you. Just like I did to my sister. You left me no choice. Subscribe right now and I will come to your home personally and uh, hang you right then and there. Do it right now. Do it.